Today I'm going to have a look at the set list and song feature in the Axe FX and SC12 and show you how I'm going to use it to enhance my performance. Let's go! Hey hey, hope you're all doing well. If you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got my FC12 Mark II for the Axe FX. I've had it for a little while now and it is the bomb. So just a quick explanation of how I've been doing things and why I think set lists are definitely the way to go for performing. In my original band, I've got all of my songs saved as a preset and I've got all the sections broken up into scenes, but everything in that situation is automated and it changes for me, so I don't really press anything too much on the floor other than the tuner and the wah. But I've got it all there as a failsafe just in case things fall apart. Now later in the year, I'm gonna be doing a Def Leppard tribute. We're gonna be performing the Hysteria album in its entirety. So I've been piecing together all of the songs and again, saving them as presets and breaking up the sections into scenes. But in that band, in that lineup, we're not using tracks. So I have to press every song and every scene. And because I'm gonna be doing the lead vocals as well, I want this to be simple, one press, it's straightforward, it's laid out in front of me. I don't have to think and I'm not gonna make any mistakes. So all of these presets are based off this Phil Collin Gift of Tone, which is available on the Axe FX website. This song is his preset for photographs. So this is exactly what he does. So I figured if I just tweak it to suit the Hysteria album, it's more or less gonna be what he does. So if we have a look at the presets, you can see I've just added them at the end. So from here, I've only done up to Hysteria so far. I've got three to add in there. So it's all the way up at 418. What I could do is grab them and just swap them back here. So that's what I did with my original songs. They're back at the start, because this was before I realized you could use this set list feature. I just put them at the start, so they're the first thing that opens up. However, rather than doing that, I've decided that I want to use the set list and song feature. Come in here. You can see I've done a few of my original songs and the set list. I've got the Def Leopard. So you can see I haven't put anything in there yet, but I'll show you how quick and easy it is to put these together. We'll just go to, we'll start from song 10, that'll do. So this will be song one off the record, which is Women. Select the preset that you wanna to go to. So I'm gonna to have to find that preset, which is up at the end, Women. And you can select the default scene. So the Phil Collin part opens on a lead, which sounds like. <laughs> and so on and so forth. Then I've got a few other sections in there which I'll show you in a minute. So that's the opening part of that song and then, so I'm gonna call that intro lead. Section two, so like I said, I've made each preset and I've broken the, se the scenes up into the sections of the songs because I thought that's how I was gonna do it but this is gonna be way easier. So Def Leppard Women, uh, so then Verse Fills, I've called that one so let's just call this Verse. Then the next section, same song, Women. Uh, section three is just rhythm. So I'm gonna call that dirt. Even though that scene is called rhythm, I'm gonna call that dirt in the set list. It makes a bit more sense in my brain. Next section, women, solo. Now I always put that in caps because it's the most important bit, right? And the last, it's literally the last chord of the song, it's just a clean patch, so I'll call that clean. So that's how easy it is to build a song within this set list feature. Now, if there was another section here and you don't have them all set up, you can choose any preset from any point. So let's just grab that Dirty Shirley number 60 and grab Hot Lead, let's call it Extra. So now when I'm in there, I can recall that Dirty Shirley patch, which is not part of the preset, which I wouldn't be able to do in the case of just having a preset and scenes. I think that's a really powerful feature and you can definitely utilize that. Now once that's done, you've got the song here, all you need to do is just drag and drop that into the slot that you want it and it's at the start of the set list. So I'm gonna go ahead and build just two more songs quickly and then I'm gonna demo why I think it's better to use the set list feature. All right, so that's gonna be enough to get us through. I've got three songs there, Women, Rocket and Animal, that's now in that set list. So let's just go out of here, come back into FC Edit. So layout number eight I've set up as set lists. Now I downloaded this layout from a Cooper Carter video. I've tweaked it just a little bit to suit more the way I know I'm gonna use it. Across the bottom here, you've got six different scenes. These two here are per preset placeholders. So per preset, I can bring in a delay or a chorus or even another scene if I need to. This one here cycles through the set list. So there are four set lists in total. This one here goes back down through the songs and it tells me the song that I'm currently on 
and this one here cycles up to the next song and I've got it telling me the song that is coming and this one I changed so it's a tuner because I like to have that accessible and I don't want to have to hold things. I just want one press, keep it simple. That's the way I like to use it, it's great. In my master layout, I've changed that button there so that's gonna be my set list options. I'll press that, take me to all of my set lists and that's more or less all you need to know is that you come across to this one, press set list, it takes me to set list which looks like that. Now on the floor, so originally what I was gonna do, like I said, was just have my preset layout and then I was gonna select the song, it'll then take me to the scenes, I'd go back out of that song and then back into, and then choose the next song and go into the next scenes. But that right there in transitioning to the next song is a lot of steps and a lot of presses. So let's now go from one song to the next, I'll show you what I mean. So this is the women preset. <laughs> Next song comes in, I have to press that button. Press that button. It comes straight in, it makes a noise because I was ringing out, but then we've got Rocket. And then at the end of that song, there's a ring out again. So we're basing our performance off the live at the O2 album. And so the big E ring out for the end of uh, Rocket. Song's animal. I need to bank up. Select animal. Two, three, four. You get the point. So to get back out of that hold, press, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of pressing, it's a lot of stuff and about. So the reason I think you should use set lists, so you do that double tap there, roll that thing, press my set list button. Now the layout, it just shows me whatever song I'm currently in. So if I go press that one, that says I'm cycling through my set list now, DWP. Now this is the Def Leopard set list. We'll go back to the first song. So now I'm currently on Women. Now here it is, I've got intro lead. First. Solo. And then the clean patch just there. Then to get to the next song, all I need to do is press that song. Sorry, that top button there, and I'm now in rock. And then, as I said, it rings out. Next song. Now there are currently only three songs in this set list because that's all I built, so we're back to women. How amazing is that? I've got the tuner up here, takes me to the tuner, takes me out. This is my per preset thing at the top there, which I haven't assigned to anything yet either. Now there are only one, two, three, four, five, six scenes across the bottom, but what you could do is if there are more scenes, I'm pretty sure, I'd have to have a look, that you could assign scenes seven and eight to those buttons anyway. So far though, the six buttons has been enough and it's pretty amazing. So if you've made it this far, hopefully now you can see why this set list feature is so much more powerful than just having presets and scenes. It's gonna make song transitions and performing these songs so much easier. Also, one other thing, because I've assigned all of these songs to the very end of all of my presets in the Axe Effects, I'd have to scroll through until I find them because I'm not gonna bother putting them back at the front and swapping about. I could do it, but eh, with this set list feature, I now don't need to. So of course, obviously, as I said, that there takes me to my other set list and I've now on the first song of my originals. And then of course, if I want to get back to the Def Leppard one, I press that and I'm now in the Def Leppard set. 
Amazing. So then if I want to just get back to my presets, I've set up my main page. I've, so you do that double tap thing here. This button here just takes me back to the presets and there we are back to the preset page. Let me know if you're going to be using this awesome feature in your upcoming performances and if there's anything you'd like to see, again, make a comment down the bottom. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. See you next time.